So iOS 18.2 developer beta one has now been available for the last couple of days. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for a couple of days. Now, iOS 18.2 is jam packed with new features and changes, especially enhancements to Apple intelligence. If you want to watch my initial coverage, links will be available for you guys in the description down below. In this video, I'm going to focus on some additional new features and changes that I've noticed over the past several days after using iOS 18.2 beta one. And now I wanna start off with additional controls for control center and the lock screen. So if you go into the control center within iOS 18.2 beta, you now have the new option for type to Siri. So you can now add this control to the control center of your iPhone by simply holding here, adding controls. And we have a brand new section here for Siri. So let's scroll down and it should be around here somewhere. There it is, the new Siri controls for the control center. Now you can also add this as a shortcut on the lock screen as well. As you can see right here, there is the new Siri shortcut for the lock screen. Again, you can go into customizing, go into the lock screen, add controls, and you should have the new Siri section. Right there it is. So right there is the new Siri shortcut for the lock screen as well so the type to siri is now available for the lock screen and the control center on ios 18.2 now something i was quite surprised to learn about is that apple will now allow you to change default apps on iphone and i was quite surprised to see this because i thought this was only going to happen for the eu but it looks like on the latest beta if we go into apps here on iphone we have a section for default apps now for those of you that do not know what this means maybe new to ios this basically allows you to change emails messages calling call filters browsers password and passcodes and keyboards to whichever you want so for example if i go into the messages application here and i click on this link right here it will automatically open on my default browser, which is Safari right now, as you can see right there. But if I go ahead and change that with the latest option here for browsers, let's go into browser and let's select Google Chrome, a second browser option that I have on my iPhone. I can now click on that link and it will open in Google Chrome instead as you just saw there. So yeah, the ability to change default apps for browser, calling, messages, and email is awesome to see here within iOS 18.2. Now there's also some minor changes happening aesthetically. So the adaptive audio controls for the AirPods Pro has a slightly new color as you can see right there. And on the home screen, if you go to customize your iPhone here and you click customize, right? And then you choose a tinted option right there. Obviously this will change your home screen icon, but now with iOS 18.2, this expands even further. So if I go into Safari and I wanna go ahead and share this, you see here for the share sheet, we now have all those tinted options available for the icons and the actual contacts there previews as well. So nice changes happen aesthetically here as well. So I'm very, very happy with the changes happening in iOS 18.2. Now starting in Australia, children in iOS 18.2 will be able to report nudity inside of iMessage. So yeah, this is a welcome change happening here to the Messages application on iPhone again. iOS 18.2 lets children report nudity inside of iMessage starting in Australia. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about some interesting changes happening in iOS 18.2 for EU customers. And sometimes I ask myself, why is this even possible? Okay, so hear me out. Right now, you're able to delete the phone application, the camera application, the photos application from your iPhone. You're able to delete the messages application, which is the core messaging application for iPhone, right? This is where you have basically all your conversations. And you're able to delete the app store okay so in the eu you're able to you know download third-party app stores onto your iphone but if you delete the core app store app from your iphone how do you even get this back on your device after you delete it so interesting changes nonetheless happening for the eu you can now basically delete most of the core applications from your iphone from phone to camera to photos to app store to messages i'm not sure what they're trying to do on that side of the world but hey there you guys have it that is everything i wanted to share with you guys in this follow-up video of course stay tuned here to the channel much more coverage coming your way ios 18.2 shaping up to be an amazing software update for both Apple intelligence and the software and the operating system in general. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.